friends today i'm going to share how to make a coffee mug in blender so here we need to delete this object so click on it right click on it hit delete now click on add on the top hover the mouse to mesh and then click on cylinder here a small drop down over here click on it and vertices you need to make 150 now we will go to the front view press 1 on your numbs pad and a little bit we need to make it a little bigger so Use the wheel option in the center of your mouse. So this is the first step done. So now we will click on the add option on the top. Hover the mouse to curve and drag towards right here you have an option nerve circle click on it now click on the small drop down over here and hover your mouse from location x towards right So you could see an orange line coming out over here now we need to change the align option over here so click on the drop down and select view so you get a circle over here then close this option so I'm using blender 3.2.0 if you have old version of blender please download the latest one so that it would be easier for you Now we need to go to the front mode. So click on number seven on your nums pad. So I selected this object and then press seven. Now we need to go to this option on the top, add a box, click on it. Go to the second option curve and drag the mouse towards right and select circle over here. So selected circle, you get the small drop down uh, towards bottom left click on it and go to location X and drag the mouse towards right till the circle comes out now on the radius tab over here we will drag the mouse towards left till it turns to uh, zero point two. Now we need to do scaling. So towards left panel, you could see an option called scale. Click on it. Now you get red and green arrows over here. Click on the red one. Left click on it. And also you 
you need to look at the top over here so we need to drag it towards left till it shows on the top somewhere 0 0.5 it doesn't have to be 100% accurate but somewhere 0 0.5 and whatever number comes next to that now we need to press one on our numbers pad so select the object press one now we need to select this black circle so left click on it so it is selected now here we have this option the green option called as object data properties just left click on it now here you could see an option called a geometry click on it scroll down you would see an option bevel click on it um, no, you don't have to click on it. Just select the second option over here. That is object. Now this black box you could see. Click, click on this box and select Bezier Circle. Now we will go to edit mode over here. Now here we will select scale option, click on it. Now you get this red line and blue line. So click on the red line and drag towards left. So we're going to squash it and just make the size somewhere around 0.7. Zero point seven six two six. Now we need to click on this green option. Just left click on it. And just Keep pressing the left uh, left key and drag this inwardly till it turn to somewhere 0 0.75 or you can just adjust the side as per uh, the cup size approximately so the mistake earlier i used to do while doing this particular step is i used to just click on uh, the left key and just release the left key but you have to keep pressing the left key then only you can uh, bring the circle little inside you can scale this circle so that's it now we need to rotate the circle so towards left we have an option called rotate so click on it now you could see uh, this green circle also, you need to look at the top here. You would see some numbers, top left. 
So left click on this green circle. And try rotating around 15 degrees. So the numbers are increasing. So you could see that rotated up to 15 degree on the top. Just release the mouse. Now we need to insert the circle into the cylinder. So click on the move button towards left, click on it. Now you could see the red arrow, left click on it and drag this inside. So just half circle, not full. If you want to adjust then click on the blue arrow and just adjust this. Now zoom this. Now you could see a dot over here. So left click on it while you are in this particular option, move option. So left click on it. And after left clicking on it, you could see this uh, blue arrow. Just drag this slowly upward, little bit. That's it. Now this curve we need to turn into mesh. So for that we will go to the object mode over here. So we will change edit mode to object mode. Now you have this object option over here. We will click on it. Now there is an option called convert. We will just hover the mouse over it and drag the mouse towards right and click on mesh. Now the interesting part of making this cup is we need to remove the inside handle so for that what we need to do is while we are in this mode drag your arrow towards right and you could see a spanner option over here click on it click on add modifier go to boolean and here you have option called intersect union and difference. So we are uh, in the option difference. So here below that, there is an option called object and the black box. So if I click on the black box, I could see the option cylinder. So I will just click on cylinder. And after clicking on cylinder, the inside handle is deleted. Now we need to make sure that we will uh, not forget to click on apply whatever settings we are done. So click on apply and this step is over. Now we will go to the front view. So press 7 on your numpad So we'll select this object, press 7. So we are uh, in the top view now. So go to edit mode. 
select the third option face select mode now the face is selected and click on delete faces so you could see that the inside handle is gone now we will select the object mode click on add modifier and select solidify here you can increase the thickness so just increase it to point zero six now this step is done we will again click on add modifier and then click on bevel so here you can modify the glass now so make sure that you will click on apply so you could see a circle over here so left click on it and right click and delete now we will go to edit mode and select seven on your nums pad so we are in the front view now so we are going to color this uh, front view. For that, first uh, we will go to face select mode and then click on select and click on all. Here you could see a little world over here. We call it as material properties, the pink option. So click on that now click on the plus option and click on new now the little circle over here just left click on it and hover the circle suppose uh, I want to give this color pink color I can select that and now on the top you could see there are three circles over here it's taking a little time over here okay so now you could see the color changed now this cup is green now we have to deselect this color so that the inside color will change so click on on the top select mode and go to none Now here we have a grid option over here. So click on that. Now we need to again click on the select box. 
Indonesia uh, just scroll down okay so here you have an option called circle select so click on that so you get a small circle over here so carefully you have to remove the color inside okay don't remove the color over here okay so just the inside color you have to remove so just hover the mouse i kept the green color as it is and just i'm removing the inside color okay now the edge is looking green so what i can do is i can just uh, increase the circle by using the wheel okay so the circle is covered inside circle is covered now this is done now right click on your mouse to edit mode now and now we will go to object mode now we will just rotate this cup now we need to give uh, a color to the handle so what we have to do is here now left click on the handle then click on this little world over here and click on material 001 now left click on the mark right click over here and you could see here this shade smooth click on it we will add a plane so what we need to do over here is go to add mesh and then go to plane so this blue arrow we need to press it down and just we need to scale this So now we need to click on this camera view. Now here we'll click on new. One option over here is shading, just click on that. So it will look like this. So we will just change the color of the plane here. So So selected the color if you want to see how it looks like when you render so what you have to do is click on the third world over here so it will look like this
You can also see the shadow over here. So our cup is ready now if you want to save it just click on file and you can click on save we have already uh, saved the file name if you haven't saved the file name then click on save as now if you want to save the image click on render and click on render image and if you want to save the animation then click on render animation so here i'm clicking on render image now we need to save this image so click on image and click on save as so under documents, I could write here as green mark. So click on save as. So that's it guys. And one more thing I forgot to tell you here is when you render the image don't render animation because it will increase pages so just render the image because if you click on render animation then a lot of pages will get saved so thank you for watching